Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to our next adventure. We uh, all kind of joked around about this a while back. Some of y'all did with me online. I was kind of being serious, then wasn't. Then it turned to being serious. Today is finally going to be the mudfish catch, clean, and cook, assuming I actually get one. As y'all know, if you've been watching the channel first of the year, I couldn't go fishing without catching these jokers left and right. Here lately, haven't caught many, but I am on a river. Well, Tiffany and I both are on a river that is loaded with these. I've got my bow with me today, and I'm horrible, so there's my disclaimer. This is only about my fifth time ever bow fishing. I'm not good at all with it. But luckily, these fish let you get really close. This river is, like I said, loaded with them. Uh, I'm going to have to kind of duck around some islands because it's very windy today, which leaves a lot of ripples on the water. This happens to be one of the few calm spots that we've came across, so I can actually see down in the water. I've got my whole portable kitchen that I call it right in there with grease and flour and seasoning and a, a gas and a cooker, just everything. So a lot of y'all had said when I was talking with you about this that the only way to eat mudfish is fresh. Well, I figure you can't get no fresher than shooting it on the water. We're going to go right down to the river to one of our favorite spots, fillet it up, cook it right there. That's as fresh and quick as I can possibly think of. So wish me luck. We're about to give this a shot and uh, see if we can get one in the boat. Oh, it got off. Okay. He went that way. He got him. All right, people, I got one. <laughs> It only took five times. <laughs> this bow fish is hard, people. If you're squeamish, this is the time to turn away. I call this my gentle persuasion stick.
Well, here we are. Y'all don't mind our messy kitchen. Yeah, I know. Want to smack me right? How's this spot for stopping to cook fish? So here he is. I hear these fish are very bloody. So if it starts getting bloody, I'm probably going to have to edit that part out. But I'm going to flame just like I do any normal fish. Just come in behind the gills, go down the backbone, take this fillet off, and uh, see what it looks like. So let's go ahead and get him cleaned up. And then I'll show you how we're going to cook him. All right, hopefully y'all can see here. He did get a bit graphic, so uh, I had to edit a small piece of that out. Boy, it's got a lot of bones. I'll give you that. It's got a, a bony rib case that goes all the way down. So instead of flaring around just a single set of bones, the backbone just kind of goes down and flares out. So just got to be a little more careful with the way you fillet it. See the color of the meat? Yeah, it's probably going to be a bit bloody and strong tasting. I already knew that. And, uh, Kind of what I was afraid of, it feels pretty mushy already. So that's probably the part that's gonna maybe turn me off, we'll see. The older I get, more I have a problem with texture for some reason. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this filleted off. And we'll get it in a bag of some seasoned flour and fry it up. All right, hopefully y'all can see this, doing the best I can do to be on the river. All right, I threw uh, some of these fillets in this bag trap a little air in it and I've put salt, pepper, and garlic in here. Just basically made seasoned flour. So we're gonna give some of this a shot. Alright now that I've got those battered up, I'm gonna bring some oil up the temp, fry them up, do this nice and simple. Frying is an easy way to test something new. All right, I just put a little flour in there and it's bubbling, so we're ready to fry. All right, everyone, moment of truth. As you can see, we uh, we overcooked them. We wanted them crispy. So we're gonna give these a shot. They actually smell pretty good, look good, but we're gonna bust them open and see. I don't know if the texture is gonna be mushy like they felt when I was cleaning them, now that we fried them a little extra long, if they'll harden up. So uh, we're curious. We're curious. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess let's... Uh, Give this a shot. That one's been out for a little bit, been cool. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, just break it right in half. All right. It definitely looks a little mushy, kind of like catfish. You can see kind of a little bit of a dark bloodline in it. Doesn't have any smell to it, which is surprising. <laughs> there, you can kind of get a better look there. It's got a little bit different texture than most fish. It's not flaky, it's kind of mushy, but that's to be expected. So I'm gonna go ahead and give a piece a shot. Yeah. 
it's definitely mushy. I don't really have a bad taste. I mean, it's just mushy. Honestly, kind of tastes like catfish. Catfish we had the other day, the bullheads that were kind of mm -hmm. a little bit bloody. That's what this tastes like, isn't it? I told you I'd be honest with you. It really doesn't taste bad. No. Um, but it is extremely mushy, that's for sure. <clears throat> but it doesn't bother me like I thought it would. Oh, uh, dang. You can definitely make this into some like fish patties. Yeah, mm -hmm. we may try it in fish patties. I always hear that's mm -hmm. the most common way to eat these. I'll put it to you this way. I'm not specifically going out to target these, but I won't tell you I won't never eat another one. It's really not bad. Um, the flavor is actually okay. Mm -hmm. It's just it's just really mushy, that's all. Yep. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we're going to eat the rest of it. The heck with it. <laughs> it tastes good enough to me to do that with. So hopefully y'all found this interesting. We'll try some more stuff here in the future. Like I've told y'all, please drop a comment if there's something specific that you want to see. Mudfish was requested a while back. Kind of took me a little while to get to this day to try it. But I'm pleased. I don't think it's too terribly bad. Mm -mm. Sorry, this is kind of a short video. But that's just the way it is. You know, I wasn't going to come out and shoot a whole bunch of them and try them for the first time and not stand them or not like them. So I'll include some footage of us heading on out of here. But like I said, please drop me a comment. Let me know if you like this video. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this.